Hello! We are talking about the Falcon! Yes, once again, I'm trying to perfect this Falcon hit. And guys, guess what I'm going to do here? A little something unconventional. Going to show you a failed 98%. What went wrong? Kind of the luck behind it. Show you some three-star Falcons I had and other people had as well. So my little trick here was trying to uh, save the queen from using... Uh, save the queen using a rage here. A town online hit this. I just... I didn't realize that I put the giant in the wrong spot. The cannon didn't mark it. I had to use a rage on anyway. So if I didn't have to use that rage, I, it would have it would have been great. I put the healers down too slow as well. And it just an all-around fumble. Waste of five space, waste of rage. I could have saved it. So that was one mistake. I needed that rage in the core for later. But another thing I've got going for me. So my goal here, there's a lot of stuff at 3 o'clock. And honestly, when it comes down to this attack, uh, another mistake here. I don't know why I put a hog here. My queen, I was trying to save her ability. So I tried to bring in a hog to take down the archer tower. And uh, honestly, I probably could have saved the ability, maybe. I pretty much wasted a hog there. Anyways, here comes the golem here. And I'm going to do some bowlers and wizards behind with a king. So able to get this down here. Throwing in some Valkyries as well. Uh, to help deal with the Tesla. I have to rage up again. So I had to use two rage on a queen because the CC was coming out. I had to use the rage. The expo was on. I could have tried to save it, but I wanted to make sure it went down. The reason I brought a jump spell, honestly, my, my initial plan was the king would already be down here to the south. I thought he would walk, but uh, I, I probably didn't need a jump here. I could have saved it. And then I was going to let the king and bowlers walk and then bring in the Valkyries in the middle with the queen. But in the end, the king hopped in the base, hopped in the middle. So I really didn't need that jump there. I mean, I, I mean, honestly, it's it's either a rage or a jump. I would have put a rage there either, anyway to to get my uh, troops through the wall. So the jump in the end wasn't the biggest deal. Uh, but the thing here that made another mistake, I put the skeleton spell down here, trying to save my bowlers and tr uh, bringing in my hogs here. Probably a mistake. I mean, I did get down the archer tower with it, so uh, it definitely helped out. I uh, probably needed, definitely needed um, the, the the hogs there, but not the skelly. So right here, this is just a little bit bad luck. This is what I'm tell, talking about, pathing for the Valkyrie luck. Look what, is, what look what's about to happen here. So the the king is about to open up his compartment, but guess what happens? The queen, the king, the, the Valkyries open up first, so the king shifts off. Now, if the king had gotten this expo down, and if I had saved the the skeleton spell. I would have three-starred this base. Uh, it's just one of those things. Queen even might have stepped back as well for the expo if this opened up, you know? I mean, look at that. Queen easily could have stepped back for the expo and the Inferno. So if that happened, would have been a three-star. And if I had my, obviously, skeleton spell here, it would have saved it. Uh, so just one of those things, you know? One of those things that occurs and those little mistakes add up. Dropping that rage, misplacing the giant and the skeleton spell things of that nature. But now let me show you a three-star using the Falcon. This time only four healers, six hogs, 16 Valkyries. You might be wondering, why not bring some more, uh, why aren't you bringing more uh, bowlers, man? I actually like rocking CC bowlers only. Sometimes I'll bring about two more, usually no more than that. Sometimes they're used for funnel. Anyways, I'm going to be walking here. Now this is, this is a decent walk, right? Uh, decent walk here starting up at the two o'clock section and I'm gonna be walking all the way down. So my initial plan, I'm gonna drop the king for the funnel at this uh, elixir storage. You've gotta get the army camp down for the funnel. My plan is the Valkyries to break in to go into the single target inferno. So here comes the king uh, and a wizard to help out as, uh, uh, as well. Uh, just with that funnel, just wanna guarantee that funnel drops, that funnel goes down. So uh, king, popping king ability. Popped it early to, so the single wouldn't lock on to him so soon. And uh, unfortunately, not able to get the lab, uh, that little spell factory down. Not the biggest thing in the world as well. So here comes the queen. Here comes the king. Kind of all locked and loaded. I'm about to drop the Valkyries. I want to make sure they go right to this section. Here they come riding in. King does drop. Not a big deal. He did his job. There goes the rage. And uh, going to be very patient on the spells here. I got two heal spells, a little bit delayed on the bowlers. They kind of got sidetracked, placed them just a bit too low. Uh, things kind of split here. Things kind of split. So unfortunately, the Valkyries did split. That's not what you want to have happen. But it wasn't the end of the world just because I was able to save 
uh, uh, the heel spells. You know, I noticed I was pretty patient on it, right? Pretty patient on it, catching, trying to catch both of these Valkyries here. Look at that. That's where that heel placement's for, trying to catch both of them. And then I bring in some back end hogs. I bring hogs at the to get some this mortar down at nine o'clock. And I'm saving some other hogs for the Teslas on the back end. I can already tell Queen Pathing is nice. Valkyrie's opened up the door. She has her ability, and I've got a rage left. So in this moment, what do you rage up? I decided to rage the Queen. I wanted to how to kind of help her out. I realized she needed help to get the single down, stay healed up through the archer towers that were locked onto her, uh, because I lost pretty much all my healers. In the end, was pop. I popped the ability just to make sure she stayed alive. Now she's full health. I got plenty of Valkyries up, three hogs on the back end. And I already know this is three-starred right now. Even though there's two Teslas, it's it's not enough. I got so many troops up. Bring in the three hogs. They're, the, uh, the Skelly here kind of hurt the hogs as well, but uh, was able to at least get down one Tesla down. Uh, and honestly, even if I didn't get it down, even if I didn't have the hogs, I still would have three-starred this. Uh, so there you go. Successful Falcon hit. Not a dominating hit at all, but, you know, sometimes that's the thing with the Falcon. Sometimes it dominates, sometimes it doesn't. It's just kind of hard to tell sometimes, you know? Kind of hard to tell. Uh, and uh, let me get another... Let's see. Was there another three-star using Falcon? I think there was. Tyler, I think. Was it Tyler? No, it wasn't Tyler, but I could show that one. I want to show one more Falcon hit. Ryan, I believe, hit it. Never mind. What in the world, guys? I was the only Falcon three star? Uh, town on nine. Um, I guess so. Well, look at there, my friends. I thought there was one more. Well, my bad. My bad. There's a lot of Town Hall 11 three stars. We'll have to watch that again as well. Thanks for watching. Looks like that's going to be wrapping it up today. Sometimes you get lucky on the Falcon hits. Just bear that in mind. And if it's like that 98% or a high 90s, run it again. And you could next time dominate it or you could fail again and try to find the tweaks to fix it. Come back for more Halo out. This is Sparta!